two years on from its introduction, thousands of landlords are still not signed up to a scheme aimed at improving the private rental sector. It takes the t attention away from the real work of making sure that the quality of housing is good and it puts it actually on more, more complying with bureaucracy and ticking boxes. Now the first in the UK, the immersion therapy being trialled for cystic fibrosis patients. Hello, good afternoon. Almost 4,000 landlords are still illegally letting properties after failing to sign up to a Welsh government scheme which began two years ago. Rent Smart Wales requires landlords to become registered or licensed. And Cardiff Council, which runs the scheme for the whole of Wales, says it's important they crack down on those flouting the law. Nick Pallett reports. So here we have the open plan living space with the fitted kitchen. Um, quite modern without throughout. Another rental property in Cardiff owned by one of the 90,000 or so private landlords in Wales. And for the last two years, such landlords have had to register with Rent Smart Wales or be fined. It's a move welcomed by most in the industry. Well, I think it's very important for landlords, tenants and agents, as it's made everybody, become licensed. And I think it's important that that comes into place because it increases standards across the lettings industry. However, figures out this week show that nearly 4,000 landlords still haven't registered. Cardiff Council, which runs the scheme on behalf of the Welsh Government, said it's important they crack down on those breaking the law. Well, there are fixed penalties, which are £250, but if we go to court, it's unlimited. Well, it was important because actually tenants' rights were being flouted very often because um, people who were letting properties or man managing properties um, didn't understand what their responsibilities were. So this one here, this is a two bedroom, £1,200 a month. Some in the industry say the whole scheme is too bureaucratic. And last week, one estate agent in Pembrokeshire was fined £4,600 for flouting the rules. There's been a lot of bureaucratic issues around the implementation of it. The website is in very difficult to deal with, it's very slow, very, very slow to deal with. Some agents, are, the larger agents are getting to the point where they're almost putting a member of staff on it full time just to deal with it. It takes the t attention away from the real work of making sure that the quality of housing is good and it puts it actually on more, more complying with bureaucracy and ticking boxes and filling in forms. Licences last five years and many agencies like Hearn and Crabtree here in Cardiff say they now manage the scheme for 70% of their landlord clients. Nick Pallet reporting. Police have confirmed that they found...